Welcome back to Learning Redis, Section 9, Is It My Turn? You know, we're almost to the end. We've finished all of the game mechanics, calculated the end of the game and the player's scores, and even created a leaderboard. But we haven't yet included a way to inform a player that it's his or her turn, or that the game has ended. So let's look into how Redis events can solve our problem. In this section, We'll ensure that we understand how Redis events work, we'll model our events, publish the events, and subscribe to the events in a complete end-to-end -end life cycle. Video 9.1, Redis events. Now, frankly, there are many ways we could inform players that it's their turn. We could have just built it into the code like we've been doing with the other functions. But Redis has a really cool way to handle reactive functionality that works even between Redis clients that I think is worth exploring. So in this video, I'll quickly explain the publish subscribe concept of events, and then we'll move right into how Redis implements it and how we can use it in our application. Publish subscribe, also referred to as PubSub, is a method of communication that decouples the sender of a message from the receiver by the use of named channels of communication. Now you can think of this as a broadcast, like radio or a television signal on a channel. A broadcaster or publisher sends a program out on a channel, and a person who wishes to receive the program, or a subscriber, just needs to tune to that channel to receive it. Note that the publisher doesn't need to register all of the receivers, it just sends out the data on the channel. Likewise, the subscriber doesn't need to know who is publishing the information, just which channels may include data that the client is interested in so that it can subscribe to them and evaluate the data being sent. Redis supports publish subscribe pretty much exactly as you might expect. The basic commands for this are subscribe, unsubscribe, and publish. To listen or stop listening to a channel, one uses subscribe or unsubscribe and includes the name or names of the channel or channels. Similarly, a publisher needs only to use the publish command with the name of the channel and a string message to send to any and all subscribers. It's a very simple but very powerful communication method that can be used not only in single applications but also in distributed applications that are connected to the same Redis database. So let's take a look at how this works through the Redis CLI. We'll subscribe to a couple of channels that we'll just call test and test two. So let's start that up first. So let's subscribe to test and test two using the subscribe command. Now notice that we immediately receive one message for each subscription, letting us know that we've subscribed to those channels. Also note that in the CLI, we can no longer issue commands on this connection. Now, real clients like Node will operate differently and can still issue commands to Redis, but even in those cases, it's not allowed for a client once subscribed to issue commands other than to subscribe to additional channels or unsubscribe from them. Now let's open another Redis CLI window so we can see the other side. In this window, we'll publish a hello world message to the test channel. Publish test. Hello world. When we do this, we receive one as a confirmation that it was sent. So let's do the same for our channel test two. Excellent. So now let's switch back to our subscriber. Aha. Now things have changed over here. Now we see that after the subscribe events, we have two messages. In each case, we see one, the text message indicating that a message was received on the channel, two, the channel the message was received on, either test or test two, and three, the message itself, in our case, hello world. It's super simple, right? Now, by the way, you can also subscribe or unsubscribe to multiple channels at a time using simple patterns. Much like you would pass a pattern to the keys command to select which keys to show, with p subscribe or p unsubscribe, you can use the same pattern matching to select which channel's events you will receive. 
So for example, let's kill this client that's subscribing right now and restart the CLI. And now we'll issue a new command to psubscribe to the asterisk. In other words, this will subscribe to all channels. Now, let's go to our other client and we'll issue another hello world message on test two. Take a look now. This time the channel received four pieces of information. One, the P message indicator. Two, the pattern we specified. Three, the channel. And four, the message itself. Also notice that we didn't receive any of the old messages. It's important to realize that the channels are ephemeral and only the subscribers who are actually active at the time of publishing will receive a published message. Now that you understand Publish Subscribe and how Redis events work, let's apply them to our game. Next up, modeling the event.